charged with multiple counts of murder. The man suspected of killing eight people in Atlanta, including six women of Asian descent, has waived his rights to a first court appearance. This comes as the U.S. collectively mourns all of the victims and calls for justice. It remains to be seen if the victims were a racially motivated hate crime. Kim Doyon reports. Aaron Long, the man suspected of this week's killing spree in Atlanta, Georgia, has waived his right to his first appearance in court. This step of the judicial system is when a defendant is advised of the charges facing them and the judge decides whether the arrest was justified. Long has been charged with eight counts of homicide and one count of aggravated assault. Of the eight murdered, six were Asians, with four of Korean descent. The federal government has joined the mourning for the victims. President Biden directed that flags on federal grounds be flown at half-staff through Sunset Monday as, quote, a mark of respect for the victims of the senseless acts of violence. In addition, President Biden will be going to Atlanta Friday for pre-planned COVID-19 related business, but he's decided to also meet with Asian American community leaders while he's there. The Asian American community is calling for justice, but the motive behind the shootings remains unclear. We are looking at everything to make sure that we uh, discover and determine what the motive of our homicides were. I'm not sure about any mental illness. All we do know is that he did purchase the gun on the day of the incident. Regardless, across the U.S., the mass murder has sparked anger and fear in many Asian Americans, especially for this Asian resident from Atlanta. You know, I haven't experienced like a physical attack or any harassment like that, but it, I'm definitely more cautious because it could happen. Just like the shooting that we saw, you know, it could be a normal day and something could blow up like that. With this movement of speaking out, I feel more empowered to talk about it. I just feel like with more incidents that are happening, we're finally speaking out and... Other minority groups are joining hands with Asian Americans to call for justice. Because if you justify hate to anyone, you justify it to everyone. And we that have been the targets of hate should not let our Asian American brothers and sisters stand this alone. Data shows that crimes against Asians are becoming more commonplace in the U.S. According to the Center for the Study of Hate and Extremism, attacks against people of Asian descent in 16 American cities rose 149 percent in 2020 compared to 2019. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.